This is the show. I'm sorry, this is it. This is all we can do. I've had a burden on my heart for a long time that we've got to, to be moving people's hearts and minds and cut through the media garbage. The fight for women getting the right to vote started in 1848 and finished on August 18, 1920 in Nashville, Tennessee at the state capitol. To me, it's not you with your face in your Bible trying to forgive yourself. It's you with your arms open receiving the forgiveness of God. We have to come to grips with what Jesus did for us on the cross. We're living in some chaotic times, right? But the Bible remains a firm foundation. When everything is shaken, God's word is the truth I'm standing on. Our culture is in disarray. Health indicators are going down, 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 dooby-doo, down, down. In the church, people of God, we hold answers because God is involved in those things and we're excited to help people in all those areas tonight. Unless the heart is changed, don't expect the streets to be changed. Unless the heart is changed, don't expect the halls of the legislature to be changed. And unless the heart is changed, don't expect the systems of the world to be changed. We need each other. We, we think we're having a conversation about race, but we're really having a conversation about humanity. Keep talking. We can make the world better if we start talking to each other rather than allowing the news to tell us who each other is. Sin takes you further than you want to go, keeps you longer than you want to stay, and costs you more than you want to pay. Young kids look up to our players. Whether you like it or not, you're a role model. That's the privilege of being a part of the NFL. That's why I believe we have to do the right thing. I'm talking about don't let the devil steal your life yeah. through fear. Doing the things that God tells you to do.